Hi, welcome to the Barbara Allen Group, and my name is Samantha Botzer, and I'm here with Maggie Claus, who um, went to Southern Oregon University, and she had wonderful, wonderful experiences there, and um, for you know the last five years or so has been down in Southern California working in the Hollywood entertainment industry. And so I wanted to kind of talk to you a little bit about your experiences with Southern Oregon University oh. and how you um, picked that school. Well, first of all, I've always loved Ashland, Oregon. I think it does fit the perfect college scenery. I went to school a year at University of Massachusetts in Amherst where the, uh, it was like 40,000 students were going there at the time and you were nothing but a social security number. <laughs> Nobody knew who you were. You were 8434. All the time. <laughs> and so then when I actually started going to at Southern Oregon University because I knew I wanted a smaller school, uh, the first thing I noticed that professors actually called you by your first name. Oh, you know, how nice. In the so first you had week. That small classroom. Not o yeah, not always a good thing when they called you by your first name, <laughs> but you, you went with it. And um, I, I, I just, I really thrived my education wise, by education, um, in a smaller environment. I noticed, like, if you got a bad grade, you had a professor there saying, okay, what do we have to do to make this grade better next time? You know, that was something I never got at a bigger university. And then um, living in Ashland, how was that? I mean, for four years, did it seem well, it's kind of... Look at it. It's paradise. <laughs> I mean, it, it has a little bit of everything. Of all ages. It has people of all ages. It has, you know, a great night scene. It has a great day scene. I mean, on the weekends, you take a beautiful walk at Lithia Park or... Got to a really nice lunch down by the plaza. It's just, it just was one of those cities I felt like you constantly were discovering new things every weekend. And so how did you make your connection down to Hollywood? And um, if you could talk a little bit about kind of your job and mm -hmm. well, it was always, pretty exciting news too. Yeah, yeah, I was always going to end up in LA, I knew that. And then I ended up starting out in television news here at KDRV, I was a field producer. and. I was like, it had to be three years into that, I was like, you know what, I'm ready to go down to Southern California, which was where I was originally from, and, you know, s s give it a shot, see what happens, and I thought, I'll try news, I didn't know what I was thinking, <laughs> and then I got down there, and I realized it's not that easy to just try news, and um, I basically got a job with NBC um, through, a fr I mean, it was just by total luck. And I worked for NBC at the time that six people on their team, and then by the end of that year, they had 70 people on their team, so it's just a timing issue. Wow. And then from there, I kind of made my way up the rank from copywriter to content editor, and I just, I loved it so much. I was, you know, interviewing the stars that I used to watch on television, and, and writing about them, and... Done the Go Golden Globes. A couple times, yeah, did the Golden Globes, been nominated for a couple Emmys, so I got to attend the Emmys, which was very exciting, and... And then won a Webby for The Office, which was very cool, and got to meet countless friends in the industry and, you know, on TV, behind the scenes, and that was very exciting, too. Sounds like a dream. It was kind of, if anybody who knew me <laughs> knew how much I loved my television, it was a dream, yes. And so now, now what are you doing? Well, right now, I just recently, I like to say poached, I don't know if that's the proper word or not, but <laughs> I got poached by uh, the Ellen DeGeneres show to do work on her website. And wow. work, Yeah, so um, I left NBC after five years, it was a great run, and I start um, on the 21st uh, working for Ellen, working for her, like working with her and <laughs> teaming up with her. And, she, you know, for someone who has 7 million fans on Twitter and on Facebook, she just didn't really know what to do with her website, so I'll be coming in and kind of revamping it a little, like awesome. doing interviews and coming that up with really fun so ideas. That is so exciting. Yeah, it's very, it's very fun. I mean, to think a, a girl from Gold Hill, Oregon, who had 900, you know, people living in it, you know, and now is doing this is kind of surreal at times, but I do think it's a timing issue, and here we are. But I, I mean, I still once a year love coming back to Ashland and Southern Oregon. A, it's my home, and my parents are still here. But B, it's just it's a beautiful community. You know, any season, it's just gorgeous here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you very much, Meg. Yeah, definitely. <laughs>